are two types of people in the world. Those who can't wait to speak in public, ball, and those who can't bear the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and for many, this has got worse during the past year when public speaking often means staring at a screen of faces on a video call and you can see yourself. Yeah, it's painful. So, someone who knows all about this is Michelle Eckley because it actually affects her mum, Mavis, really mm. badly. Let's see how she's tackling it, shall we? Over the last year, we've been forced to rethink the way we interact with the outside world. Most of us have had to embrace video conferencing, but... For many people, like my mum Mavis, the idea of public speaking is terrifying. Although she's a successful businesswoman, she's always felt anxious about meetings. And speaking in front of a webcam hasn't made things any easier. In fact, for some, it's only made things harder. Public speaking ranks as one of the nation's top phobias, and online meetings can be particularly terrifying. The problem is that you can't read people's body language and on top of that, you're seeing yourself on the screen, which can make you even more self-conscious. My mum's fear predates online meetings and goes back to a time when she was asked to read to the class in an English lesson. So today I've brought her here to a secondary school in South London to face her fear. Being here, it's a real trigger for you, isn't it? I've got to be honest, Michelle, I feel really, really anxious. It's not, it's not a good feeling. Today, we're meeting Christopher Paul Jones. He helps other people overcome their fears. We all have our fears. We all have our, what makes us happy, what makes us sad. We're just not really aware of what we're doing with our brain and our body to feel that way. I mean, I've got this book here because this is really where it all started, isn't it? Animal Farm in uh, senior school you had to read various passages i'd sort of stumble i'd read the same few words three times and oh i just wanted the floor to open up according to chris this kind of trigger isn't unusual sometimes when you have a fear your mind is remembering something bad that's happened in the past chris is going to spend two hours working with my mum you've been conditioned that standing and reading means something and whether you're on Zoom or standing on stage, that's what's going on in your head. In order to help my mum overcome her anxiety about public speaking, she must conquer that school-aged fear. And what is it you're angry at? I'm angry at the teacher. Reliving these feelings isn't easy. You just didn't make me enjoy going to school. Chris shows my mum a number of techniques designed to help her overcome her fear. There are some that you could try at home. Are you with it? Chris asks my mum to think happy thoughts while squeezing her thumb. Over time, this action can be used like a button to trigger happy feelings. This technique can be easily applied to online meetings. You could also tell your co-workers how you feel. You'll probably find many of them are as nervous as you are. In it. just two hours, my mum has made a lot of progress. Oh, what's going on there? Before, just the sight of Animal Farm would have made her shake. I can't believe how tiny it is. And I just find that quite healing. Now she has to prove to herself that she's overcome her fear. The thought of her actually standing on stage and reading something out loud is making me nervous for her. I'm just rooting for her so much. With over 20 people watching, will Mum be able to speak on the online call? Are you certain that this is not something that you have have dreamed, comrades? Nothing of the kind existed in writing. The animals were satisfied that they had been mistaken. Oh, thank you, guys! Yes! You absolutely smashed it. That Mavis, all those years ago in that classroom, I've spoken to her. That's how I feel. It's quite a moment. With Chris's guidance, my mum now has the tools to help with her fear of public speaking. Whether that be to a virtual audience or on the stage in front of hundreds of people, my mum's shown that it is possible to dig deep and face our anxieties. I couldn't be prouder.